All right, guys. So today we are going to be addressing the uh, oil leak here on the Escalade. As you can see, it's coming from up here. Um, it's oil cooler lines running up to the front into the radiator. Uh, I guess that seal's gone bad. We're also going to use that for our um, oil feed for the turbos. So we're going to get in here and uh, get this thing taken off and replaced and delete the oil cooler lines um, as well. All right, so I'm not sure we can see it from here, but basically the, uh, the oil cooler is here on the side of the radiator. Uh, there's one of the lines, the other one's right down there. So we're gonna get rid of those um, as well, and they run down here to the side of the engine uh, right above the um, oil filter. So we're gonna take those out um, and we are going to be replacing with this AC Delco gasket. There's your part number if you wanna look it up. Um, that's what's gonna work for us. Obviously some uh, ultra black Permatex and then uh, this from Motion Race Works. I don't know if they have a part number on there, but um, anyways, that'll be our oil feed uh, for the turbos. So we are going to get started um, here in a second getting rid of these lines and uh, getting this fixed up and the leak stopped. All right, so the way this is gonna work is we are going to act, let's see if we can get it to focus on there. All right, so that is the block off plate um, or whatever you wanna call it for those oil cooler lines. So those two 10 mil bolts, we're gonna have to get loose. Um, hopefully we can accomplish that here with a good set of extensions and um, hopefully it'll go smooth. All right, guys, so there's the uh, old gasket hanging down. I wanna show you um, how I did this. I didn't actually run through the wheel well like I thought I was going to. Um, basically, if you can see this, bear with me. I ended up using this drill, the extension, and then the uh, elbow there on a 10 mil socket. And basically ran this up there like that, if you, you get what I'm talking about. Um, and doing it this way seemed to be the easiest for me. So right now, the oil's draining down there somewhere. I don't know if we can see it, but anyways. Um, these are the upper ends of the line, so I'm gonna start to pop these off and get this drained out, and then we'll remove the whole kit and caboodle and uh, get started installing the new stuff. All right, guys, so there is the uh, where the leak was coming from. Um, just a tip, if your truck requires you to remove um, an oil cooler line, just go ahead and delete the whole oil cooler um, unless you really think you need it. I don't necessarily think it's necessary. Um, to get the lines out was a giant pain in the ass. Just don't waste any time playing on using a Sawzall. Uh, a heavy pair of scissors can cut the rubber part of the line um, that is up towards the front of the truck. But um, at the back, you're gonna need a Sawzall because those lines wrap underneath the engine mount and run up to the front, you can't just pull them out. Um, but otherwise, not too difficult. Now we've got that cleaned up. Just double checking that no more oil drips out and we are going to um, get our gasket ready and get ready to install this thing. All right guys, so here we are. We got the uh, start of our oil feed uh, for our turbos. On this oil block, um, what we're gonna do is run this oil line off of it um, and then up at the top of the motor run uh, two oil lines, one to each turbo. And uh, we should be good to go, but for now, this is all blocked off um, so we can have this installed and ready when we're ready to uh, start the installation of the uh, actual turbos. So um, here we're going to use our gasket, add the um, RTV, and uh, get this thing installed. We are also gonna reuse the factory screws. I like these a little better than the uh, ones that came in the package. Hey guys, so she's in. Uh, pro tip here, use the supplied hardware that comes from the uh, Motion Race Works kit. The factory
factory bolts are too long. Um, I put them in and tightened them all the way down and they weren't uh, deep enough, or they couldn't go deep enough to hold this thing tight. So um, be sure to use those. Now we're going to feed uh, the beginning of the oil, the turbo oil feed line onto that nipple there. Um, and then we should be done for the evening. All right, guys, so there's the uh, oil line on. This is the oil feed. So here it is. Um, you, can, you can see it down there. I'm going to run it up here a little bit and uh, zip tie it off uh, for now. But basically, this is uh, what we're left with that we can tap into uh, when we decide to run the uh, turbos uh, here in the next couple weeks.